హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు వినుతాస్ మ్యాథ్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద క్లాస్ నైన్త్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొబాబిలిటీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ మాడ్యూల్ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ ఐ హ్యాడ్ గివెన్ ఫ్యూ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ టు సాల్వ్ అండ్ ఐ హ్యాడ్ టోల్డ్ దట్ విల్ సాల్వ్ ద సెవెంత్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఈజ్ ద సెవెంత్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఈజ్ ఎ ర్యాండమ్ వేరియబుల్ ఎక్స్ హ్యాజ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ప్రొబాబిలిటీ ఫంక్షన్ ఫార్ various values of x they have given the values of x here for this value of x they have given the probability function that is p of x as 0 1 that is for value of x is 0 the p of x is 0 for 1 the value the value is k for the value of x is equal to 2 the p of 2 is 2k so on they have given till 7 okay for 7 it is 7k square plus k fine if so then find the value of k find k the second question is evaluate p of x less than 6 next p of x greater than or equal to 6 and p of x which lies between 3 and x uh, less than or equal to 6 okay and the question continues and it is and also find the probability distribution and the distribution function of x fine now first we have to find we have to solve for the value of k then only we can solve for all the sub questions fine to find the value of k they are telling it is a probability function okay the characteristics of probability function is the each and every values of this must be greater than or equal to 0 and the second characteristics is the addition of all these values will be equal to 1 okay so by using these properties we will uh, find the value of k so solution we are using these two properties p of x value must be greater than or equal to 0 meaning it must not be negative okay it must not be negative this is the first property and the second property is p of x summation of p of x all together it must be equal to 1 so here by adding all these values we must get the answer as 1 by using that we will solve the value of k 0 plus k plus 2k plus again 2k plus 3k plus k square plus 2k square plus 7k square plus 7 this is for x is equal to 7 okay i have written all the things here that must be equal to 1 by using this second property okay add the like terms k plus 2k is 3k 3k plus 2k 5k 5k plus 3k 8k 8k and then here one more k it is 9k okay so plus 9k next i'll add the k square terms okay uh, 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 1 10 10k square so it is 10 stays 10k square plus 9k is equal to 1 we will write it in a quadratic equation form 10k square plus 9k minus 1 will be equal to 0 fine we can solve this uh, quadratic equation by two methods we can solve this by the factorization factorization or by using the calci that is scientific calci okay by using the scientific calci let me show you uh, by factorization 10k square plus 9k minus 1 is equal to 0 okay uh, we will multiply these two values so it is minus 1 into 10k square will be equal to minus 10k square we have to find two factors such that 
multiplication of those two factors must be equal to minus 10 k square and the algebraic sum must be equal to the middle term that is minus 9 k after solving we will get to know I am just showing you the things uh, since we will be having the scientific calculator we can make use of it to uh, skip all these steps we will get uh, in just uh, one minute by giving the correct instructions to the calci scientific calci okay so it is plus 10 minus 1 k okay how we will do here 10 k square plus 10 k minus 1 k will be equal to 9 k multiplication of these two will be equal to minus 10 k square okay so i am dividing i am splitting this 9 k as plus 10 k minus 1 k 10k minus 1k minus 1 is equal to 0 so taking 10k as common from these two terms we will remain with k plus 1 minus 1 as common k plus 1 is equal to 0 k plus 1 10k minus 1 is equal to 0 I have taken k plus 1 as common here okay so k plus 1 will be equal to 0 or 10k minus 1 is equal to 0 from this k will we will get it as k is equal to minus 1 by solving this equation we will get 10k is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 by 10 okay here I have told you that we are solving this problem by using these two properties <coughs> here we have got the value of k as two values that is minus 1 and k as 1 by 10 it is equal to 0 0.1 okay by using the first property we can say k it should not be a negative value okay it should not be a negative value so we have to take k is equal to 0 0.1 or 1 by 10 fine this is by the factorization method pen and paper method <coughs> let me show you how to solve this by using a scientific calculator okay scientific calculator let me write the equation here properly 10 k square plus 9 k minus 1 is equal to 0 fine switch it on go to mode clear okay mode clear press three times okay Go to mode clear fine press three times first second third equation select the equation that is you have to press one one here you will get unknowns don't go for this here you can see the arrow mark here so click here click this arrow button right side degree two or three this quadratic equation or this equation is of degree two so we have to select the degree 2 press 2 here fine okay press 2 here next <clears throat> in this calculator we have to give the inputs for a b and c for that the calci is being built by this quadratic equation the form is a x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 okay here it is asking for the value of a that means it is asking here we have to enter the value of the coefficient of x square or any variable square for this here we have to enter the value of a as 10 okay let me enter the value of a as 10 next b the value of b is the coefficient of x coefficient of x is plus 9 so plus 9 it is nothing but 9 you have to enter along with its sign okay next c c is nothing but it's a constant the constant here is minus 1 enter minus 1 fine okay we have got the value of value as x1 is equal to 0 0.1 press equal one more time x2 equals minus 1 fine here the same result 
we have got by solving it in a traditional method that is factorization just in one step in from this step we got the answer here fine so the value of k is 0 0.1 or 1 by 10